Salutations, my Fallout lovers. It is Maddie here today with my review for Fallout 4's Contraptions DLC, which just dropped today. And a lot of you guys wanted to know my thoughts on this settlement focused DLC. And personally, I think it's exactly what Wasteland Workshop should have been. But since that's not such a glorifying name, allow me to get into some more detail on this because I personally enjoyed the settlement mode, but I did not recommend Wasteland Workshop. Honestly, that is just an atrocious DLC. So to say that this is what it should have been isn't that much of a compliment but it's saying that this does what it should have done in the sense of actually adding stuff substantially to the settlement mode where wasteland workshop was more of just taking old assets from the base game and selling it to us which was kind of unfair in my opinion even though it added the arena mode i feel like that was just heavily orchestrated whereas contraptions actually adds genuine stuff such as the new display cases the mannequins but also useful stuff such as machinery where we can now mass produce objects of our choice whether it be weapons armor certain items to craft with now mind you that you do have to use your own settlement supplies to construct this stuff naturally which makes total sense but still it's worth putting out there that you can't just flip a switch and all of a sudden start producing a ton of stuff for your settlement i'm personally a believer that fallout 4 needs more story focused dlc and i know that the rest of the fallout community wholeheartedly agrees with me when i say that but here we are stuck with contraptions and what does it add like i said it adds machinery so you can mass produce items it also also adds display cases so now you can put your fancy armor and weapons on display not really justifying five dollars with that but I will say that it is a big relief to get all of those weapons and armor out of my settlement storage and sanctuary and start decorating my settlements with all the cool stuff I actually went out and hunted on top of that it adds a new structure system called scaffolding which is pretty cool because it lets you kind of oversee what's happening below you which is good when you're mass producing from the conveyor belts you can oversee exactly what's happening below you it also adds a bunch of random items naturally such as marquee which you can label stuff with acrylic text and put little arrows in there which as you can see in this shot here i managed to do which added a little more flavor to the settlement i did like that and other crazy shit such as firework launchers and junk mortars because why the hell not right so you can go ahead and go to your chemistry station now build fireworks and then fire them off because you know it's why not right it's fallout now you can get creative with this by mass producing certain types of armor and weapons and then decking out your entire settlement with that same getup and then giving it kind of a theme labeling it with a new text putting cool little aesthetics here and there decorating it with special armor that may fit that theme and all of a sudden as you can see things start to kind of mesh together a little bit i think a good standpoint to realize is that fallout 4's wasteland workshop dlc actually kind of feeds off of contraptions in a way where i found myself using a lot of this stuff from wasteland workshop in this contraptions dlc such as labeling with the neon lights using some of the new lights from the settlements to properly illuminate my new objects that i wanted to show off to my settlement that no one's actually technically seeing except you guys it also adds that little ball kit thing which has absolutely no point at all i mean i'd say it's just for fun but it's just annoying i don't want to set up a little ramp that shoots a steel ball down it what's that gonna do i don't know maybe we'll see some cool youtube videos on it i'm sure that's what it'll actually evolve into but as for something that it adds to the game it's kind of pointless if you ask me what settlement mode needs i've said this multiple times bethesda i know you're listening to me out there add a unique settler to each settlement in fallout 4's base game and even far harbor for good measure all of a sudden you have 30 plus unique settlers Give Give each one a little quest line that's interesting and then have a new unique weapon or armor that they'll give to you or a unique item in general and then all of a sudden settlements got really interesting perhaps you have to invest and get them to a certain happiness then this unique settler arrives and he gives you this quest and then you go out complete it come back get a unique item and now your job in that settlement is done doesn't that sound a lot more appealing than giving us more stuff to build with it's only five dollars so yes if you spend your money on this and you really don't like it whatever you you probably missed out on a McDonald's Happy Meal, if anything. That's not a huge deal. You probably saved yourself a couple of years on your life at that. Me, personally, it's just really hard to recommend this DLC. Like, it's just settlement items. And 
I enjoy the settlement mode. So this is coming from someone who really likes that type of stuff. And for me, I hopped in, played for an hour, and I was done. And that kind of stinks. So I really hope that the new Vault DLC coming out actually adds something substantial because it's not really a settlement DLC. In a sense, it is, but it's also something a little more aesthetically different. It lets us build something new and fresh. That's kind of what I wanted from the workshop style DLC is actually something new and different. And although it has been done in mods before, I totally get that. At least it's something refreshing, whereas this is just tossing a bunch of items our way. So once again, the pressure is on Bethesda now to deliver with their big DLC, which is now this time Nuka World. Like I said with phase one, Automatron was hit or miss. No one liked Wasteland Workshop because it was buggy and broken. Even settlement lovers were like, this is not good at all. So Far Harbor had to be very good and thank God it was. Now with contraptions, it's decent, not really bad, and it's definitely miles better than Wasteland Workshop, okay? Like I said, it's what it should have been but that shouldn't be a surprise to us to get a functioning product right for five bucks okay so then you have that then you have hopefully the vault dlc which is good we're not going to judge that way ahead of time because that would just be unfair so let's say that's an okay one doesn't really appeal to a lot of settlement lovers once again pressure's on that nuka world has to fully deliver to give us a really really good experience and i'm sure it will i do trust in bethesda especially after far harbor it just sucks that we have to wait this long to get what we truly want as Fallout fans. So Bethesda, if you're listening, I really hope you're cooking up some more story DLC for 2017. My fingers are crossed like mad, man, because we want more of that. Settlement's been fun, but that's not what Fallout fans want. And so at the end of the day, if you guys think you should pick this up or not, it's really always up to you. My personal suggestion is just wait until the vault dlc at least that one might add something a little substantial to your game this just adds new items and if you didn't like the settlement mode in the first place this isn't going to change that which is what i think the settlement mode dlc should gun for is to get people who aren't into settlement mode into it which is why i said add a quest system because people love quests because we love fallout regardless though I hope you guys enjoyed my review on a tiny $5 DLC. It's necessary, all right? I've done it for all the DLCs. You can't leave out a tiny one. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on contraptions in the comments down below. Other than that, be sure to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. The links are, as always, in the description. Check out SugarBrom.com, the place by Bethesda fans, for Bethesda fans. Other than that, stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.